Now that we've talked about the boundary wire in our last episode, it's time for the guide wire. Because by its nature, the Salino Minimo mows randomly, it is also possible to define additional mowing areas along the guide wire. That way, it's possible to guide the mower to remote parts of the garden or through narrow passages so that all of the areas can be mowed the way you want them to be. The guide wire also shows the mower the way back to the charging station when the timer gives it the command to do so or the battery is getting low. For inclines, it is important to lay the wire diagonally. That way, the mower can get up the hill without any problems. If the robot is supposed to mow or traverse a narrow corridor that it would otherwise rarely find on its own, the guide wire helps it get in. But let's start from the beginning. First, clip the guide wire into the channel provided. Run it straight forward at least one meter in front of the floor plate. Then, use the hooks to lay it to the point on the boundary wire where the connection is planned. When doing so, ensure that there is much space as possible on the left side of the wire, facing the charging station. If possible, 135 centimeters or more. When the mowing robot runs along the guide wire, it is never directly on top of the wire, but rather parallel to it at varying intervals to prevent creating tracks. On the other side of the guide wire, a distance of at least 20 centimeters from the boundary cable must be maintained. This is especially important in narrow spaces, for example, in a tight driveway. If the robot is to regularly mow a narrow corridor, the start of the corridor must be defined as mowing area. Then activate Corridor Cut. The mowing robot then automatically switches to a zigzag pattern to ensure that it's up to the challenge. Even if the corridor is a dead end, the Minimo will mow it reliably using this function when driving in and out. Now we've laid the guide wire to the connection point. Here, cut the guide wire and separate the boundary wire at the loop. Then take the three ends and insert them into one of the holes in the white and blue connector until they stop and press them together. It is important to press the connector together hard. Otherwise, it's possible that no connection is made. Then the charging station will blink. By the way, the connector is filled with grease so that it's weatherproof. 